Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Great to see you. Uh, excited to have you here today. We just received some mail that we thought we would never ever see because Canada Post had delivered it to the wrong address, yet given us a ticket saying it has been delivered to our home. Um, yeah, so it's been missing for about a month now and suddenly I looked out to check the weather today and BAM! There's an eBay package sitting on my deck. Not even a knock on the door. So miraculously, this package has been found. And I am so excited because we have been waiting so long because we want to see this item in comparison to another one that we have. So today we're going to take a look at the mysterious package that consists of Squeeze from the Masters of the Universe Classics line. Now we have the OG one, so it's going to be fun to see them side by side. Uh, I actually love the OG one. They are kind of difficult to display. However, I have it standing now, but for the sake of the review, I will definitely take it down and hope for the best when I go to put it back on the display. One of King Hiss's chief lieutenants during the Great Wars, Shaz was better known to his enemies as Squeeze due to his trademark slither hold. He enjoys entangling his foe with his powerful constrictor snake arms and just can't keep them off any enemy. As soon as a fight starts, he is in the thick of things, wrapping up the first warrior he gets a grip on. Trapped in the void for several millennia, he was at long last released along with the rest of the Snake Men army by their descendant, Cobra Khan. Finding Eternia ripe for conquest, Shaz continues to serve King Hiss in battle. His enemies cannot escape the long arms of Squeeze. So as you can see, Squeeze comes in the standard blistered card packaging known throughout the Classics line. On the front of the box, you will see the Masters of the Universe Classics line logo, as well as the Snake Men sticker. On the back of the box, you'll find the brand new bio that was released in 2015, as well as the other figures you can collect for the Snake Men. On the back, you will see Snake Face, Tongue Lashore, Snake Armor He-Man, Snake Men, Squeeze, who we're reviewing today, Ratlore, and Battle Armor King Hiss. All right, well, I'm super excited to open this, but I'm also nervous at the same time because I kind of don't want to open the box. So in the comments, tell me, when you get your action figures and or collectibles, are you an in-the-box person or are you an out-of-the-box so person? So we have just decided to start getting rid of some of the packaging. Um, our main goal is once our collection is complete, whenever that shall be, we will turn it over to our son who will do what he chooses with. All right, let's get them open so I can compare them to our OG one. All right, so I've gone ahead and removed Squeeze from his packaging and man, oh man, he is heavy in comparison to the OG line. As you will see, Squeeze has been updated to if the If you haven't nines. gotten up close and personal with the OG version of Squeeze, we'll definitely take a look at him during this review. All right, let's take a closer look at some of the updated details on this figure. So as you will see on Squeeze's arm, you will be able to see the scaling. It is quite prominent on this figure in comparison to the OG one. So on our OG figure, you will see the scaling is there. However, it's not as prominent now this figure is of course over 30 years old, so it has been played with a little bit. So as you will see, I've gone ahead and put the OG squeeze right behind the Classics line squeeze. Obviously, there is a height difference. Our Classic line squeeze stands at 7 inches tall, whereas our OG one is roughly 5.9 inches tall. Now I've gone ahead and measured the arms on the Classic line squeeze. He stands at 22 inches for that arm span much, much bigger than our OG one. So standing side by side, you can see that there are some obvious differences in both of these figures. Of course, we've got an updated look on the boots. The old one consisted of just some paint over some light etching in the figure in itself, whereas the newer classic line have put some added elements and of course, brighten up some of the colors with adding the silver to the boots. As you will see, we've also received slight upgrades in his entire suit and armor. Squeeze's hands have also received an update. As you will see with our OG figure here, it had only four, we'll call them fingers, whereas this one is more formed as a hand and the fist is more closed, 
making it slightly easier to keep those arms together should you want to trap somebody. There has also been a slight update in As his cufflinks. On the OG squeeze figure, the cufflinks are solid orange. They're plain, they're basic, kind of like where the figure comes from. And on the classic line, we've updated that look by adding some bronze around the detailing. Okay, let's check out some articulation. So as you will see, obviously the arms bend. They are wiry. You can do as you choose. However, he is quite top heavy. Keep that in mind. We have articulation, gray articulation in the head. Beautiful. You are able to twist your wrist. Of course, you can bend your knees. You are able to twist your thigh around should you choose, and you do have an ankle joint as well. Alrighty guys, once again, thank you so much for stopping by as we took a quick comparison video of our Masters of the Universe classic squeeze figure versus our OG squeeze figure. Be sure to like our video and of course, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all of our latest videos.